Greetings, villains of Jelanis, heroes and heroines. You're tuned in to Project Supervillain. I'm your host, Arc Drifter, and today I'm going to be looking at the top five games of February. I know we are a little bit late here, but fret not. There's a good reason for it. Um, we just finished doing our Gaming and Music Award show, which took a lot of effort, and we released that on the uh, 3rd of February, which was a couple days late, but we still got it out, and it's, it took a lot of effort. And it took up, uh, took up all of our time, so I'm finally able to sit down and, and talk about the games that came out. Now, some of them are already out since we're already a little bit into February here. But let's jump into it before the rest of February ends and uh, we miss out on all the games. Let's go. Number 5, King of Fighters 15. So, coming in at number 5, we got King of Fighters 15. It's February 17th. Uh, it's coming out on Steam and Epic Store uh, for PC and going to be on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series S and X. But uh, we are not going to be seeing any crossplay going on with this game, so if you're looking forward to that, I'm sorry. This is going to be one of the few games nowadays that isn't doing that. Um, by the way, this is developed by SNK and published by SNK and Cock Media. Um, <laughs> I don't think I said that right, I'm sorry. But also, it's a 2D fighter, I'm sure if you can see on the screen there. It's a Street Fighter-esque type of game there, uh, very similar kind of fighting styles. Yeah, both these fighters have been around just forever. Um, that being said, uh, Street Fighter's always been the more notable one, I've noticed. But um, this has always been a favorite among uh, legitimate fighting fans. For this game, let's, uh, I don't know if this is different from the other games because I'm not a big SNK fan myself, but there's three teammates to swap between. It seems to be there's 40 characters and there's DLC planned for the future as well. Some of it's already been leaked, I guess, or it's actually got announced because it was leaked. I'm not entirely sure on that, but if you want to look into that, there are more characters coming. As well, we have uh, fast and fluent combat as we're used to uh, with SNK and bright and flashy visuals. Just They look great. Um, the game looks awesome. I can't wait to see how it does. Uh, hopefully it's one of the more popular fighters of the year and it, it uh, can it please the King of Fighters fans out there. On top of all this, it seems to have an upbeat soundtrack from what I can hear. Um, well, we we'll just have to wait and see what happens with this game. Hopefully it comes out and it's a success. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next one. Number four, Monarch. All right, so number four, we got Monarch coming in. This is a JRPG, clearly. Um, February 22nd, uh, you can expect that on Steam, PS4, PS5, and the Nintendo Switch. So poor Xbox fans, they don't get any of that. Um, it's developed by uh, For You and Landcars. I hope I said those right, and published by For You as well. And NIS America and Nippon Ichi Software. What we're looking at here is a third-person strategy-based JRPG. Uh, it seems to have some sort of turn-based combat with some sort of free roam system. It's a little tough to explain. Uh, I don't fully understand it, but that being said, the game does seem to have some character. I really like the look of it. The, the graphics are impressive. Um, and this is going to be coming out on the Switch too, so that's cool to see. Um, and it seems to have the same kind of art style and story direction as uh, like Persona and Shin Megami. Now, um, I've only played Persona. Uh, so I'm, 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 I like JRPGs, but I have not played a crap ton of them. They're very long games, very big commitments. But that being said, it's, you know, it does seem to have some, some character to it. I'm going to be keeping my eye on this one, because as far as JRPGs look, this one seems to be the most exciting one so far for this year for me. Um, there's definitely going to be more, so we'll just have to keep our eyes and ears open for those. Let's move on to the next one. Number three, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. So, this game is already out. Came out on the 4th. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, usually we're ahead of the game on this. So, yeah, this game's coming out on Steam, Epic, uh, Xbox One, Series S and X, and also on PS4 and 5. Uh, oh, yeah, and Nintendo Switch as well. So, you're getting it pretty well everywhere. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, it's already out, I should say. Okay, so, it's coming out on the Switch, but it's only going to be coming out in, like, August, apparently. So, you're going to have to wait a bit for Dying Light 2 on the Switch. But everywhere else, it should be out by now. It's developed and published by Techland. And it's a first, like if you haven't been able to tell already, this is a first person zombie survival action horror RPG. There's RPG mechanics in here too, so we'll get into that. But uh, so you're looking at a game with actually no guns. They've taken out the guns from this game and made it a more of a melee focused game. You get also get bows and arrows and stuff like that too. But um, yeah, so that's like an interesting choice. You know, in a zombie game, there's not a single uh, actual firearm that you get to use apparently, uh, from what I've been able to see. Um, and I, I guess that's the choice that they wanted to go with to kind of make you not as strong. I could see that. 
Um, not entirely sure why else they would do it, but, uh, so anyway, I digress. It's got a big open world, just like the first one. Um, again, if you haven't played a dying, or, sorry, if you haven't played a Dying Light game, Dying Light's essentially just parkour and zombies together, like, um, it's probably the most, ex like, it's probably the coolest looking zombie game on the market, if you ask me, because, like, not many other games have this kind of uh, craziness to it, where you get to just jump and go wherever you want. I mean, like, you look at Back for Blood, and the craziness that has is it's, like, the cool and special infected. Now, I'm not sure if this game has, like, special infected or whatnot, but it definitely has parkour, and that's really cool. Like, it's got, like, an even enhanced parkour system from the last one. If you played Dying Light, uh, apparently it's going to be even more fluid and, and fun. Uh, for the parkour, which I mean, you should expect. It's to improve. It's the next game. It should improve on everything. But um, that's just one thing to note. It's also going to have a heavy stealth focus, so don't uh, don't get caught by those zombies there. You're going to want to hide. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of uh, crouching, and sneaking around, and it's going to have a very in-depth story apparently too. The other cool, interesting tidbit here is that it's a four-player online co-op story as well. So you can gather up your friends online and play together, and you can just pick up and play kind of thing, which is you know. That's pretty cool. Uh, interestingly enough, I just looked this up, but you don't actually get the co-op experience right off the bat. You have to get through to a certain point of the game. Uh, I've seen other online-based games do that before, so it's not super new. But anyways, that, this game's out already, so if you want to pick it up, go grab it. It's uh, It's been out since the 4th, um, but let's move on to some of the other games that haven't been released yet. Number 2, Horizon Forbidden West. We've got ourselves a PlayStation exclusive here, guys. PlayStation 4 and 5. Uh, it's coming out on both, thankfully, for people that haven't been able to get that PS5 yet. I know it's tough. Um, we're going to see this game out on the 18th of February, so still, still a little ways away here. Um, but this game is looking like a serious contender for a game of the year. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. And the first game was amazing, too. Everybody knows that. I actually haven't played it. I'm going to play it, though, like really soon like probably this year I'm gonna play, pick it up and, and so I can play the second one because these games have always been recommended to me everybody recommends them to me they're just good games from what I understand they're developed by Guerrilla Games and published by of course Sony Interactive you're fighting mechanical dinosaurs dude massive robot dinos part two essentially is this game <laughs> uh, it's a continuation of the story you're playing as the same characters for I think her name's Alloy <laughs> again it looks absolutely breathtaking you're gonna have tons of weapons and skills okay, yes it is a action role playing so you actually will have uh, upgrades and level ups and stuff to deal with here to choose your different skills and, and which weapons you prefer I'm not sure if you can upgrade the weapons or not if you want to see more about this go check out some trailers uh, this game looks really really cool let's move on to our next one though honorable mention Ollie Ollie world okay <laughs> this game looks like uh fuck ton of fun honestly february 8th so by the time this video is out should be tomorrow and it's going to be out on steam ps4 ps5 uh, xbox one through x and the nintendo switch so you're pretty well getting this game on every device um it's going to be made by roll seven that's the developer and the publisher's private division and take two interactive uh so this game i'm not sure if it's got a history or not honestly i'm a bit ignorant in this one but it is a 2.5d side scroller platformer it's a skateboarding game obviously as you can see and the the visuals are interesting they look kind of similar to adventure time uh, this, this game just looks like a lot of fun, honestly. It's a single-player game, though. That's something to note. It's got a boppin' soundtrack, from what I understand so far, from what I can hear. And, uh, it's gonna have- it's gonna feature some extensive character customization as well. So, Ollie Ollie World's kind of like Trials, or, or games with, with time trials in it, essentially. Uh, it's essentially, that's the multiplayer element. Uh, you're going to be competing with friends to beat their times. Um, but that, I believe that's the extent of the multiplayer to this game. Um, other than that, yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. Definitely go check this one out if you're a fan of skateboarding and if you are a fan of just, like, this kind of quirky humor because it looks like it's going to be pretty funny as well. Um, definitely check that out. Number one, Elden Ring. Wow. So this game looks absolutely phenomenal. This is going to be another game of the year contender, I have a bet. Um, we've got this game coming out on February 25th. It's going to be out on Steam, Xbox One through X, and the PS4 and PS5. So, um, obviously you're not going to be able to run this on the Switch. This game's looking a little too intense for that. 
Uh, it's going to be developed by From Software. You already know they're, you know, already know what they're about. Uh, Bandai Namco is helping publish it as well, and it's a third-person RPG, much like the Dark Souls games we're all know, we all know and love, or don't love if if you're like me and you just have no patience for for Dark Souls games. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I like the I like the universe and I think the games are really cool, but I I can't play them. I'm just so bad at them. Like my uh, Achilles heel of games. Um, so it's gonna be much like those games, and if you're not into those, then you might not like this one, but, uh, it's, it's also gonna be co-written by George R.R. R. Martin, guy, the guy buying Game of Thrones, so, uh, it's kinda looking like, like, Elden Ring, I mean, it kinda looks like a Lord of the Rings kinda thing, it's got a lot of the similar, like, vibes to it as well, like, and, and similar with Dark Souls as well, like, especially more like Dark Souls, honestly. You can see that in a lot of the enemies you'll see on trailers, you might probably have seen them already on screen. Um, some of them just look absolutely terrifying, and yeah, this is just another massive open world game as well. Um, it's gonna have online co-op uh, co and PvP, uh, invasions are featured in this, but I believe they're handled a bit differently this time around to be a little more friendly for people. Um, I know people, a lot of people didn't really like some of Dark Souls online elements where people could just show up and fuck you up, um, but I think it's a little bit different in this one, so uh, that being said, I, I hope that's an optional thing, I really do, because, um, you know, sometimes you just want to play a game alone and not have some random online dude who's on Adderall just fuck you up. Just sometimes that's something you want to do. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's got uh, some light stealth elements. It's obviously not going to be super intense. You're not looking at a Splinter Cell game here. Um, it's going to have massive and terrifying bosses. You can already see some of them there. I was talking about them before, some of the enemies, and, and not even just bosses, but just the regular enemies are terrifying too. I don't know how people come up with this stuff, some of these things. They're just so like out there and bizarre and fucked up looking. It's it's awesome. I, I gotta give them praise for, for the design of some of the enemies already. In, in this game, we're gonna be featuring options and dialogue and that, that will have effect later in the game. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be, you know, uh, Dark Pictures Anthology-esque or if we're looking more like um, just, just a couple choices here and there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on that front. And another thing, we've got multi-layered castles here with dungeons, um, meaning you can approach them from multiple angles. That was one of the big highlights they made in some of the trailers. Uh, it's not just like a one you walk in the front door and make your way to the top. It's like there's there's multiple different ways to approach each area that you're going into, uh, which is kind of cool. It's, it's kind of like a Far Cry-esque element where you can just go in and do what you want. Um, very freeing. Um, and, and another thing is there's many different weapons with different attacks too. So it's, again, it's just like Dark Souls. You're gonna see a lot of different diversity there too. There's not much more to say about this game. Again, looks freaking phenomenal. We're probably gonna be playing it on our stream at some point, so look forward to that. Uh, it just looks absolutely great. I can't even understate that. That's it for the five games of this month though that we have to talk about anyway. So, uh, for the March video, probably have this out on the 26th <laughs> next time, so if you want to catch that, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video so it helps us out in the algorithm, and it'll also help you out so you see our content more. Um, I mean, if that's what you want to do, up to you. We'll leave it up to you. That being said, if you want to support us any other way, check out other socials down below. We got uh, Facebook, Twitch, like I said, we stream uh, Thursdays and Fridays around 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we've been trying to make some earlier streams here and there, but usually it's Thursdays and Fridays around that time. Uh, so check us out. We also put out a schedule if you want to see it. Um, just follow our socials. Uh, we do a lot of random stuff on our stream, variety streamers. Uh, all your wildest dreams will come true if you come to our stream. 100%. Um, not bullshitting you, but that's going to be the end of the video. So, thanks for joining, thanks for watching, new project dismissed. Peach out.